everybody so we're going to be doing a full gameplay for ymir today and i'm also going to be going over some up some updates i guess for the channel but mainly just things to talk about for the future of the channel and i'm i'm just going to say because some of the subjects we're going to talk about for those that are going to probably close out the video right away okay, we're going to be talking about um content on the channel such as double daylight and smite and we're not quitting smite just telling you that right now okay that's never going to happen so Deb daylight to content on the channel we're going to be talking about the patreon going to be talking about my schedule and and also feedback from you guys um i'm probably missing something and i'll remember as we we're talking about this i actually just recorded this video and i played game you versus pele and i won and now I got to do it again because my microphone was too quiet and I got to hire it. So, oh, that's another thing we got to talk about. And I'll talk about that first. So I was using Shadowplay to do all my recordings in the past. And now I'm using OBS. The reason for that is that OBS, I can separate all the audio into different tracks, which means is I can have Discord, the game, my microphone, and uh, something else. I could, um, music, all on different audio tracks. And that is really good for multiple reasons. It means if I'm streaming and I have a good play or something, I can save that play with with OBS's buffer, right? And I can edit out the music while still having the game sound. I can take out my microphone. So basically better quality. So good stuff. I already talked about that. Um, the downside to that is that I tried recording two Guardian Gauntlets with OBS and I didn't have my settings right. So there's no volume on them. And I'm basically just not going to count them because what, what can I do? So... I had a Terra loss and then this really good Sylvanas win, but can't count it. So whatever. Uh, this is Ymir versus Sean Quay, Not that good. I am going to be ranting. Okay. Uh, so, so here's the thing. So with my schedule, right? I'm going back to college, as some of you may know, know this year. And with that, I don't have as much free time. However, I actually kind of have a schedule going right now. And hold on. I am going to turn off the air conditioner before it ruins this recording. 99% of my full gameplays have been recorded or have been ruined by that air conditioner. All right, so. Yeah, so with the Guardian Gauntlet, I, I don't have those. I can't upload those. So we're just going to continue where we left off. But I also know people are getting tired of me being stuck on God. So guess what? Guardian Gauntlet is going to be about two to three times a week now. How's that sound? Uh, you guys will have to let me know. And with that, I will be uploading whatever God I feel like in between, like not a part, not as a part of a series. So one day I'll wake up and I'll be like, I feel like playing Ymir. Another day I'll be like, I feel like playing Uzumbo. I feel like playing on her. You know, it could be anything, any tier, any God. So that way, hopefully you guys don't get tired of seeing the same gods over and over again, such as the Guardian Gauntlet, you know, Absolutely. and that way. If it's a bad Guardian Gauntlet, you know, at least I'll know I'll have a good video out the next day or something with something else. Okay? And another thing I want to ask you guys is, do you want face cam on the videos or not? Because I'm using face cam now because it's kind of an announcement video and I feel like it's a little bit more important when we're talking about the channel to have a face cam. But for the regular videos, I don't know. I'll need feedback on that. Good first blood. Uh, we always use face cam on stream, or not always, most of the time. And people seem to like it there, just YouTube's a little different, you know? It's less about me, more about the game, I feel like, for YouTube. But either way... Okay, so we got the OBS instead of Shadowplay. We talked a little bit about... Oh no, we didn't. Okay, so... Dead by Daylight, you guys, I uploaded one video, it was received well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. But for those that don't know, and those who are fans of the show Stranger Things, they are up adding a killer from Stranger Things and two survivors from the show into the game. And I don't watch Stranger Things, and I really I need to, but, um, really good kill. <laughs> but this is like a huge update for the game. Like, I think their second biggest update was when they added Ghostface into the game. And that had one point something million views. The Stranger Thing update already has millions of views. And it was just announced like a week ago or something. Uh, and the people are going crazy over it. There's so many new people coming to the game. Uh, and it, it's basically, I think I got into Dead by Daylight at the perfect time. 
just like just before this update because that means i'll already be kind of somewhat a seasoned player by the time this update hits and hopefully i can make some quality content for that now i am still gonna be making smite content because i, I love smite you know smite is somewhat my life at this point but i do want to make some content other than smite on my channel because if something happens to smite i don't want my channel to just die off of that you know there's so many smite content creators that used to make smite videos and then they stopped and then their channel just kind of died because they they didn't have something up off the ground before they stopped making smite content and that's not what i'm trying to do i'm not trying to like have an escape plan with dead by daylight i just i want a variety like even some other games perhaps something on my channel the only thing is that my editing style is so specific to smite it's hard to do it for other games and that's something I need to work on. I know I'm ranting a lot about this, but I've had a lot on my mind and a little bit hard to shorten, which is why we're doing this in a full gameplay. That way you guys have something to watch while I'm ranting. Okay, so yeah. So I will be making more Dead by Daylight content with that huge update. Like, it's pretty, pretty big. It's that so many people are getting hyped about this game they've never heard of just because of this show. So... And that's pretty awesome. It's not like... It's like actually the Stranger Things characters too. It's not like some sort of boof copyright trying to avoid. Like, look at... Like, think of the Erlang Shen Monster Hunter skin. How that's supposed to be Pokemon. Yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> it's not like that. It's like actually Stranger Things. Okay. So, we talked about content. Okay, so... I'm doing this in random order. Patreon. Okay, so... I opened Patreon years ago. And... Back when I was making videos on my old PC and I wanted to raise some funds to get a new PC because um, I wanted to make higher quality videos. I my game, my game was lagging. It would have lag spikes and it just wasn't good for YouTube. So, and I had to throw away a lot of recordings because of some really bad lag spikes, unfortunately. And I couldn't use uh, replay buffers either, which made making videos so much more difficult. But long story short, I opened up the Patreon and some people helped out and I am very thankful for those people. And some of them are still Patreons today, which is like insane, right? But uh, they helped to get the funds and we got the PC. And from there, I didn't, I kept the Patreon up and I like, I still post to it. I still post videos early to the Patreon, like a day earlier or so, but I, I, I'm not doing enough for Patreon. I know that. It's not even a question of if I am. I'm not doing enough for my Patreons, which is why I don't advertise my Patreon that often. Um, it's purposely hidden at the very bottom of the description in a way that it's hard for people to know that that's the Patreon link because I feel bad people becoming Patreons when I don't have that many good rewards. So, back to the main point. I need your guys' feedback on good rewards for Patreons. I feel so terrible of these that these people are supporting me and I I don't I can't really do much back for them, you know? So right now it's pretty much that they get to be in description. They get to join the Twitch sub only Discord for those of you that don't know that that exists. Um please let me get this kill. Let's put a pause on our trains of thought. Okay. Oh another quick F6. Alright, let's wrap this up quick. Alright, um <laughs> wrap this up quick. So, Patreon, I need advice for rewards. Right now, it is that they get the Discord role as a Patreon in the Twitch sub-only Discord. They also get to see videos early. They get to see some editing that I post, but that's that's like it. I have some other rewards posted, but no one has really redeemed them because they're not really good rewards. So, I just, I just want rewards that I can follow through with everybody, even if it's like an end-of-the-video shout-out, if you guys think that's a good idea, which I might do. But then once I do that, I do want to advertise a Patreon a little bit more because I'll be honest, um, for those that don't know, I do do YouTube and Twitch full time. It pays the bills, but that's about it, you know, and college is expensive and I don't want to find myself in a mountain of debt. So I feel like this could help out. And I really just want to step up my game for YouTube and Twitch. I want to step it up because because I, I love doing this and I. I'm very passionate about making videos and making people laugh and it's just what I do, you know? Uh, let's look at the stats and stuff uh, just while we're talking. And in order to do that, I, I just need, I need to step it up basically. So that's a part of it, updating the Patreon, posting regular content, 
in a more organized manner. So two to three guarding gauntlets a week. Other days it'll be full gameplays, maybe once a week edited or every other week edited. And then spicing in Dead by Daylight content. So that's good enough for YouTube. Which I'm gonna have to pull back on the streams a little bit, but it'll be more scheduled, which I think will be actually be a better thing. Because before I was just like, ah, I feel like streaming now. Ah, I feel like streaming. You know, it's that's not a good way to go about this. So that I'm that's I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time that streams will be scheduled, Patreon will be updated, videos will be higher quality because now I have OBS which can separate soundtracks. And I'm just looking forward to the future of this channel. And yeah, and also Smite. Smite's been doing some great updates. Persephone. Persephone looks so fun. I haven't played her yet, but I really want to. Also, this whole next queue thing is a pretty good feature. All right, that's new. So yeah, I'm I'm super excited. I'm ranting a lot. I hope you guys... I'm, I'm sorry I rant so much. It's just I'm excited to talk about all this stuff. And I just want to say thank you for giving me such a positive community. I take pride in the positivity we have in this community. I don't see it in many other places. And yeah, just leave a comment with some ideas for with some ideas based on what I talked about in this video and also whether you want webcam for other full gameplays or not. Cuz I don't know if they fit for other videos. But again, thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. If I forget anything, I'll leave it in a comment.